Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Welcome back to Happy Art Treasures. I'm Steve. I'm Donna. And we are full-time resellers in Lincoln, Nebraska. <laughs> Rehomers of stuff. It is Monday morning. We have some things going out over the weekend that we're going to show you. But first, we want to talk about like our life and our reselling adventure in general. And there's a gnat flying around my head or something. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> we have the garage door open again, you guys. It is nice and cool this morning. So, yay, fall maybe? Mm. It really is. Um, so, last week, uh, towards the weekend, we had a moment of kind of in that rut again. And we kind of realized that we don't have many goals. We have goals, but we don't have any small goals that are right. obtainable to do this and do that. And so we talked about it for quite a while, talked it to death, and we decided, okay. Because <laughs> that's what we do. Let's pick something and let's do it, and then let's pick something else. And so we have like some steps, some goals now to do, but we started with, I was going to say she made me start with my biggest problem in the whole house, <laughs> Maybe. but I, I volunteered it. I said, okay, first thing we'll do, I said, see a good let's wife. pick up a, a good spot. Suggest and makes it Puts appear it in my head. to be his idea. Yeah, my yeah. biggest problem child area <clears throat> in my entire house, storage units, anywhere, is my workbench area. Basically, here's a picture of what it looked like when we started. Oh. And it was, I just piled things on there. I never went to it. It's hidden behind everything. So, it, you know, out of sight, out of mind. So I told her, I will tackle that. And I did. You did. It's awesome. Can yep. we show them? Yep. Okay. So now you go back here. And this is it. There was, we had a... Show them how clean the, okay. the bench is. Yeah, this was just basically one big pile of stuff. It was like piled up to here, kind of like a tool hoarder. Yes, like a hoarder. And now I have an empty bench. And this I was have full. things in proper places. I got, you know, it's, it's organized. This, the wall isn't organized, but you know what? It's okay. I got a place for my golf clubs, my tools. I actually put the tools in the cabinet instead of <laughs> all over the bench, ladders, whatever. We also had a deep freeze right here, but we hadn't actually opened it in a year and a half. We don't ever use it. So we thought it was just a catch-all. So we had stuff piled, piled on top of it. Yeah. So we thought, let's get rid of it. So it's listed right now in dollar auction. It's going to be gone. And then the mower, because of our reselling business, we store it outside. We have a cover for like the rain and the snow. But I'm thinking we did this and we're going to put the mower and store it inside. And then in the winter time we swap it out and we bring the uh, snowblower home and then we can do that too. So that's step one. Step one is done. Part of step one also was for me to stay out of his way when he yes. did this because he cleans and sorts a different way than I do. So I was trying to be quiet and be busy. Because I, I throw some things away that she's yeah. like, what are you doing? Yeah. Now and this so, now this looks like a mess, but so here's what's going on. Oh, this man. this over here, this is the deep freeze that's get on listed right now. So that'll be gone in the next like 24 hours. All this stuff back here was just donated from our neighbors. They were would have taken it to Goodwill, so they just brought it over here. So that's all stuff for us to work and go through. This is we kind of went through all this. We know what this is. We're gonna work on this stuff. Um we have four big totes for the booth yeah so i need to mark that today and we'll get rid of these four totes yep. for the booth that will leave the, a few things back there for us to list but what there's I, our garage sale stuff still haven't worked out because we've been working on this other stuff now all this mess this is all stuff listed on the dollar auction so it's going to be gone and this is all on the auction yep this is all on the dollar auction we have this cabinet on there's a scroll saw, a sander, all this is on the dollar auction. So this whole area is all going to be gone. And this stuff over here, too. And now, last I, night... I, yesterday, listed all these things, these white boxes and everything on them, is on eBay. Yeah, she so did five... So about nine, $900 worth went to eBay. Yeah, she filled five boxes plus a couple of things for just on the shelf. And then she also... All of this is listed on dollar auctions yeah so they'll end and be gone tomorrow yes her and table so, is look, look at that i went through every single thing that i had on my table to Hold list on, time out that's a mosquito let's kill that did you get it oh. is it on your hand no. dang it all right so yeah now 
you can see her table and you can see she's boss lady <laughs> that's, i love that i'm selling this though oh no i'm not bossy i'm better ideas okay. yeah that was rude i like the boss lady though yeah so yeah i'm ready for my next round as much as some of it looks like it's a mess it's really not we kind of have a plan so then we were also talking about other goals and do you know it has been i'm guessing 2018 i think it's been six years is that six years since we went to the since we golf? went yeah we went to oh. the golf by ourselves every trip we take generally has to do with Visiting family. family visiting family whether you know who knows who you know kentucky we go there we go to arkansas. down to arkansas we go to Belle Vista, arkansas we go Texas you know sometimes just we went to dallas to a football game but we met other people there and we did family time on the way down so we haven't had any trips just the two of us for a long long time it was so before covid oh yeah way before covid so we actually just had discussion and we're planning we're not going to say for sure when and or where where yet but we're planning on in the next month or two taking a trip and just put, putting all this on vacation mode and just stopping for a week or so and just getting out of here just by ourselves without other people because i think it's <sighs> way overdue we get so focused you get so focused on the money and the keeping the keeping the wheel turning you know you don't want to stop that wheel but you know life is short mm -hmm. and you never know what could happen and yeah. it's been too long since the two of us have just went somewhere so we're gonna do that that sounds awesome so um should we go do we have anything else or should we go start pulling orders let's go see what's sold. all right All right, we are in the basement, mm -hmm. in the eBay basement. In the basement. Uh, look at I had to put a new roll of bubble wrap up. It's kind of saggy. This one's loosey goosey, but if you guys have been watching a long time, you know I usually put two rolls up. But I use so much less bubble wrap now <laughs> that I don't need to put two rolls up. I can put one. He's getting I use, better. I use a lot more paper, but I have learned that paper is Paper's way cheaper, cheaper yeah. than bubble wrap. And we can reuse paper. I mean, yeah. you can reuse bubbles, but we get paper to reuse more often. Yep. All right, let's go, Donna. We're going to pick some orders. Hopefully, we get okay. Alaska today. We'll see what happens. I don't know. Okay. Did you list this? Over here, we got... Uh, little fireman donna list him he's for the shelf and then these two are games that need to go to my cousins in arkansas i'm gonna actually just mail oh. them to them yes this little guy is very rare yeah she listed him for what like 165 or something yeah because of his mouth his eye color and his outfit yep yep so he's gonna be a display piece yeah there you go all right, let's go to box 87, Donna. 87. Start with a fun little sale. Oh, but look. Oh, but look. Oh, but look. Oh, but look. We have a rack in the middle. If we put the rack in the middle, we consolidated the fire boxes down to two because we didn't need three. These are for shipping. This I need to just get rid of. And then that mannequin, I want to get rid of that mannequin. We don't. It's a ladykin. I know, it's whatever it is. <laughs> so anyway... So we have progress happening, that's for sure. We do. Um, All right, you're looking for a Rainbow High Junior High doll right here. Got her at a garage sale for $2. Which one? That's the one right there. Skylar? Skylar, yes. There's Skylar right there. Paid $2 at a garage sale. She sold for $16.99. She's going to North Carolina. She has a purse? Yes. All right, the next one is in box R6. This is good because we can move them around. However, oh, R6 is outside. <laughs> you have all those full ones. Let's bring them in and put them on the okay, shelf. Okay, let's do it. All right, we're uh, up to speed now. Okay. In here, you're going to find a padlock. This is a padlock you got at a garage sale last week. Got it for $1. I listed it, and it literally sold in like an hour, and it sold for $24.50 plus shipping. And it's going to Idaho. 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 Next up, we got a cassette that has been in here for a long time. Uh, let's see. This one right here, King Diamond. The eye actually is not as long as I thought. We got this in the springtime in a sale at Omaha. Paid a dollar for it. It sold for $7 plus shipping. And it's going to Georgia. All right. Then in the CD drawer, uh, go down. It's actually the record drawer. There's two 
Fearless. Two uh, Taylor Swift CDs are sold. This one is Fearless. Yeah, and this one is Reputation. Both of them sold to different people. Sold for $14.99 each. Fearless is going to New York. And Reputation is going to Iowa across the river. Okay, let's grab box H. Stay out here for a minute. Okay. In box H, you're looking for... Oh, oh there no! There goes our stack. She <laughs> said something about cleaning up. Like, I thought about moving these boxes, but literally I'll probably use all these today. Mm. In box A, you're looking for Rudolph right there on your left. This guy? Yep, American Greetings, Rudolph, the Red Nose Reindeer figures. I sold for $14.00. And it's going to North Carolina again. Nice. All right, we got two clothing items from uh, in the boxes of clothing. The first one, this is a NASA sweatshirt. And this has been listed a long time. Uh, then it sold finally for $11.55. It's a hoodie and it's going to Illinois. Okay. And then the next one is a like Amsterdam. I don't know what this London, is London, exactly. Paris, Tokyo. Yeah, this is a sweatshirt and it sold for ten dollars this has been on a long time also and then it's going to california cool. yeah we're talking about paring down our clothes right yeah we have like a whole bunch of suit pants and suit jackets and stuff and we just don't we have enough stuff and we don't enjoy listing them so we're thinking about just putting them They're big new lot with tags. yeah new, new with, tags, with tags but we're, we may we may just put them on like a big line dollar auction and let another reseller work mm -hmm. that stuff just we have so much stuff we can't literally do it all. If any of you guys want suits and pants, let us know. <laughs> right? All right, let's go box 77. 77. All right, in here we're looking for a Yadro. It's a lady Yadro. We got this from a kind of a private pick about a couple months back. All right, in here is, it's called My Winged Friend. It's a girl with a bird, and that's a Yadro piece. We do not have the box for it, uh, but it sold for $32, and it's going to Iowa, another Iowa sale. All right, the next item came from the Thrift Party Bus from Planes of Profit, and it's in box LH. Okay. I'm not tall enough. <laughs> okay. It's always good to have a tall Steve. Yeah, so in here there is a hat, Findlay hat right there we got that at the thrift store in omaha during planes of profit i don't remember what we paid for it it sold for twenty dollars and it is going to new york so we have like two to new york two to california two to iowa two to north carolina i think weird <laughs> none to alaska yet oh all right next going to box gg this comes from gold canyon how long how old G -G is that gg gold canyon Gold Canyon is a storage unit we bought. It was in Omaha, and they were a Gold Canyon candle like reseller or a what's it called? Consultant. Consultant. And so there was tons of stuff from Gold Canyon candles and decor. Okay, I'm gonna be frustrated. And she's getting frustrated because stuff's in her way. This is a Gold Canyon Happy Bunting stackable spring or summer. So it has like letters, and you put the blocks together to spell things. And anyway, that sold for $4.50. Cheapers, creepers. Uh, they paid twice that much in shipping, and it's going to California. The next one is in Firehouse box number one, which I just restacked those and reorganized them, and it's on the bottom, so I'll go get that. A lot of stacking and restacking involved in reselling. Sometimes it's like that. And this uh, came from the Fire Buy. I just put it in a new box the other day. It's the American Choppers Fire Bike. Pretty cool piece, honestly, if you're into that kind of stuff. Don't we have a couple more? I think we already sold, we sold one already. Uh -huh. This is going to South Carolina and it sold for $26.99 plus shipping. Nice. <laughs> uh, the next up, I'll grab the next thing because it is literally an empty box. We sold for $20 with nothing in it. What? All right, we did a storage unit and in the storage unit, there was lots of stuff, kind of electronicals. They had like a podcast or a show or something, I don't know. But we found this box. It's for a Zoom F8 multi-track field recorder. And when I found this, I was like, holy cow, because I looked it up and the box is empty. <laughs> this thing is worth, I can't remember for sure, but I want to say like $600 or $800 or something. Never found it, just the box. So you know what I did? I thought somebody 
has this and wants the box. So I put it on eBay. It's been on eBay for a while. It's now on sale and it sold for $20.40. Just and the box. Just the box. There is like the foam padding and everything in there. So uh, it's going to Kentucky and I messaged them right away and I said, hey, so you got this. I just want to make sure you're aware it's an empty box. It's just the box and the inside, like the foam padding. And they were like, that's exactly what I need. I have one that I'm ready to sell, but I don't have the box. So 20 bucks Cool. going to Kentucky. Next up, we have Donna's favorite sale of the whole day. Are you ready? Yeah. Box R7. I know what it is. This this was listed for four minutes. Four minutes. And it sat outside for probably a month. Yeah, this came Not from, outside, but in the garage. This came from when we did the clean out of the abandoned apartment. Look at that. It's a mohair, vintage mohair sweater. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Little balls on it. By Susie Lee. Yep. And it didn't have a size tag, so I just measured and put the measurements in the picture. Yep. And it sold for? $130 right there in like Isn't four minutes. crazy? And it's going to Oregon. Yeah. So that's awesome. Yeah. Good job, Donna. Thanks, honey. All right, box 102. 102. All right, in there we got a Boosilla. I don't know how to pronounce that. Boosilla? I think right? so, yeah. All right, this is a needle craft pillow. So if somebody wants to make a pillow out there. And it's a kit. It's a kit. And it was paid for $16.99. It's going to Texas. And Donna got it at a garage sale for $1. Yes. We got a few more items. LX. Box LX. Okay, in here there's pins. There's an Olympic pin. Is it in there? Let's take a look. That is it right there. A US... Let me try to get that in the light here. This is from Malcolm, our first estate sale clean out that we did. Uh, this is a USA 1998 United Airlines pin. That sold for $6.25. And it is going to Illinois, Chicago, Illinois. So that's been on a long, long time also. Yeah. We had a lot of long, long times in here. Yep. Next up is in box 46. We put a sale on. Yeah. So did that help? Maybe. Uh, something we did do a couple days ago, you, we've talked to you about, we relisted 500 things sold similar, and then we promoted them at 2%. Friday and Saturday were really dead, and so what we did, we were up to 500, almost 600 items that were not promoted at all, because we don't promote anything right away. And so I took it down to 200. So I put almost, it was like 300 and some items. We promoted it back to the 7%. Then I also went into all those 500 things and I promoted them at 7%. eBay still wasn't happy because when I promoted them at 7%, it said, you may get low sales because we recommend you promote at 13.5%. When is it ever enough? So um, <laughs> we're at 7% on everything except yeah. for the last 200 items plus that we've listed. Everything else we're about back to 7%. We're giving in to the eBay gods because it was pretty slow, but now it's picking up again. So I guess I think promoted listings work. Yeah. All right, in this box from Iowa, there is some ink. Ink. Some HP ink. All right, we dug it out here. It's HP, it's the ink like this where it comes in bottles and you pour it into your printer. We actually switched to a printer like this last time our our printer died this spring and I love it so much better. I got so tired of buying ink cartridges. So these four inks right here sold for $36.99 and they're going to Maryland. We got two more things. Let's go to box 31, Donna. 31. And you're gonna find a remote control. It's a Bose remote control. There it is. However, it does not turn on. So it's actually for parts repair only. This is a Bose, I don't know, the model, whatever. Model RC48S227, something like that. Uh, I can't get it to power on. So we sold it for parts to repair. It sold for $15 and it is going to California. Last item from this morning, Donna, we have a pair of shoes, and they are clear and see-through. You can see your toes. Oh, man. I would not want to wear shoes that I can see my toes, but that's just me. Aren't they 
thinking, if you're wearing shoes that you can see your toes in, why do you have to wear shoes? Well, yeah, Donna's anti-shoes anyway. These are some Jessica Simpson shoes right here. They're just a little see-through on top, which is, they're kind of cool, like honestly. Yeah. Never seen anything quite like that. They sold for $19.99, and they are not going across the river. They're going just down the interstate to Omaha. Really? Yep. Fun. So that's cool. That's it. <laughs> that's it for today. I'm taller um, than you now. We're going to ship this stuff out. No Alaska yet. We're <laughs> still working on it, but we'll get there eventually. Yeah, we will. Um, I think that's about it. We gotta, we're going to make this video. We're going to oh. do the shipping. We're going to do all the things. And then we're going to work on getting that storage unit empty. That's one of our next main, main yes. goals is getting the extra storage unit empty. It's the 23rd. It renews. It's $165 a month. So we are going to get that sucker empty. Yeah. And sell that stuff right and we hit 2400 oh we got yeah 2400 subscribers thank you to all of you we appreciate every single one of you all right i think that's it donnie you ready yes you ready to get to work yes i'm all right. ready all right cool hey i'm steve we are happy art treasures i'm steve i'm donna thanks for watching we'll see you on the next one bye okay bonus footage i guess donna's not here she went to take the dog to the vet got a little ear infection thing going on so I'm here shipping away and I get an email and I thought I didn't want to share this. This is kind of funny. So here we go. Do you know that we cross list on Bonanza and we sell I think a month or so on Bonanza. So I get this email, which is mine and my own business. This comes from Bonanza. It says new letter uh, email. We co-search company details below are contacting you on behalf of HP with principal place of business at blah, 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 blah. We have been appointed to monitor the sales of HP branded ink and toner cartridges, personal systems and printers for compliance with HP's qualified distribution network terms and conditions, uh, blah, 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 blah. During our ordinary monitoring activity, we recently detected your listings on Bonanza, which are selling HP products without being part of HP's qualified distribution network. Please find below the URL to the concerned products. On behalf of HP, we kindly request that you promptly remove the above mentioned listings or make them unavailable within the next 10 working days from the receipt of this communication. If you would like to apply for an HP partner agreement, blah, 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 blah. So basically they're like, you're selling HP stuff and we want you to take it down. And I'm like, I don't need that drama. I don't need that smoke. I don't need any of that. So I look and the item that they are referring to just happens to be right here, waiting to get shipped because it's sold on eBay. So yeah, I have no problem taking that listing down. It's actually should already be down, but I'll double check because it's going out today. So that was kind of funny. I'm down to three things left to ship. Got my little pile over there. I'm just working away. I just wanted to share that. So HP, a little slow on this one, guys. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. All that crap. Bye.